Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers to you. And did I show you, is this yesterday? This was my, uh, well, I think I may have used a different mug. No, I think this is the same one. But please take notice. See what's in there? Water with lemon. Uh, I, um, yesterday was Monday, um, and I had nothing but water with lemon all day. What do you say about that? You think I can't? I can, and I will. Um, take a look at that bad boy. What do you think about that? Ah! If you think that I have no energy, you guys think, well, some of you used to write to me when I have all this energy, and people have always said this about me. They're like, how much bad cake have you had today? Or how much espresso have you had? Guess what? This is my natural energy. Who's texting me? Hold on. Um, anyway, so I had a killer workout this morning. Uh, I'm standing on my tiptoes right now. So while I'm, while I am shooting my vlog, I'm working out, I'm tightening my glutes. Can you see that? Oh, you can't see that. Oh, look. Oh, look, I'm doing some like, I'm actually doing some lower body ballet body stuff while I'm talking to you. I'm in plie right now. Actually, I think they call it releve, where your feet are together and they're sticking out. Anyway, um... People, you could be standing at the copy machine and doing little butt kicks. I used to do that. I used to stand at the copy machine when I was working in an office, and I'd stand there while I was waiting for the copies, instead of like a sloth, and I was tightening my glutes. There's one side, there's the other. You can't see it, but I know you know I'm doing it. Anyway, so yesterday, um, as you know from my video, I uh, was the first day coming back from the Tony Robbins seminar from Walking on Fire because I'm a badass like that. I think I'm going to install coals here in my house so that I can walk on fire every day. But I have this stupid blister that I got from that pausing moment. And then, like an idiot yesterday, I'm like, oh, it's just like I can peel it now. <laughs> yeah, that was not smart. <laughs> for those of you, because I Googled this too, I Googled how to make a, a blister heal faster, you know, for runners and, and hikers and so on. They get blisters a lot and get bad ones. Um, and they all say they, they all say you should pop it, meaning you stick a little pin in it, a sterilized pin, and drain the fluid. That will help it heal faster, but you don't peel the skin. <laughs> yeah. Which is what I did yesterday. So it was like, here's my skin underneath it, and I'm like, oh, you don't need this, do you? And I peeled it off, and the skin underneath is like, ah! <laughs> Look, I made my I scared my own camera. So anyway, um, yesterday was Monday. I really need to continue speaking about this um, topic that I started yesterday because what I was talking about yesterday is this whole concept of our tendency as human beings to focus on the negative or focus on the easy way out and how it can affect you. And wow, here I am focusing on the negative, but I'm telling you how messy my hair is. Um, that's because I kicked ass in my workout. But listen, so you know, I had this blister and I've really you know screwed up and I knew it hurt, my immediate thought was, oh, you know, I'm not gonna be able to do this, I'm not gonna be able to do this, I probably won't be able to put my shoes on, I'm not gonna be able to do this. And then I thought, whoa. And then I remember, you know, so many of the things that they talked about, or examples that they gave at this Tony Robbins weekend, and I think about all of the athletes that I know that push through an injury or push through pain, and here I am with a blister. You know, granted, I mean, it hurts like a mofo, okay? It hurts, and it's on my heel, you know, underneath my arch. So it's it's painful, and I can't be careless. But I, you know, be, there's a difference between being careless and careful, right? And I just need to be a little. Um, I just need to be careful, right? But I, instead of focusing on the one small part of my body that has an issue on it, if if you focus only on that instead of all the rest of what you can do, and the fact that you can focus only on the positive and not on the negative and get through it. If you don't do that, you're going to limit everything. And if you have that attitude with your fitness journey and you always ease into doing less reps, not pushing yourself, not going out of your comfort zone, you're never going to make any progress. And then that, I, I guarantee you, it will feed into the rest of your life. Because let me tell you, what do you think is happening with me after this weekend? You know, I keep remembering and, and it's all about continuing to get this attitude in you and, and feeding yourself. You have to keep feeding this attitude, but you know, keep thinking like, whoa, wait a second. How often do I look for the easy way out? You might not think you are, but you are. You know, again, if you're at the gym 
and you, I said this in my video yesterday, if you're at the gym and you're on the treadmill or you're on the stair mill and you know, you said you were going to do half an hour and you stop at 25 minutes and you think it's not a big deal, guess what? The next time you're probably going to stop at 20 minutes and the next time, you know, you keep cutting off five minutes here and whatever and then you get to the end of the month and you're like, I lost a pound this month? And, I'm, and then those are the type of people, and I've been there, people. I've been the one. You're like, oh, I'm working out. I'm, I'm working so hard. I'm busting my tail. I'm at the gym every day. Okay? Look, I'm getting my gangster thing on, and I'm a white girl. <laughs> Got music in the background that's pumping me up. Anyway, so I, I, have, I have this blister thing, right? And I put my shoes on because I'm like, instead of assuming, which is what I started to do, I started to assume that there's no way I'm going to be able to work out with this, that the only thing I'd be able to do is my ballet body workout because that has no shoes and you're kind of up on your tiptoes anyway. Put my shoes on and guess what? I was able to do Shaleen and Turbo Fire and kick ass yesterday. And guess what? Then I started to get to the end of the day and I'm like, I wonder if, you know, down dog and, and yoga is going to really like stretch this blister and make it hurt. Guess what? I did my yoga. I kicked ass. It felt awesome. It really felt awesome because I hadn't done yoga in four days and I was missing it. Um, got up today. I went to bed earlier last night. So another one of my goals is going to be to really get back to going to bed earlier, getting quality sleep so I don't have to sleep eight hours. I'd like to cut that down to seven. And then after that, we'll see if we can go to six. Um, but it's how you add more hours to your day, people. Um, so I had a really great sleep last night. Woke up at 6.30, I can't lie. I woke up at 6.30 and I went back to bed. So I got up at 7.30. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna get there. That's all there is to it. It's not even a question. But I just had a killer workout. I did Les Mills Combat. And then afterwards I did Ballet Body. And here I am at 800 calories. So I, again, I kept thinking about this whole concept. Am I almost at 10 minutes? I'm at 7 minutes. Um, and the fact that I went through a day yesterday with no soda, no water, excuse me, no soda, no coffee, nothing but water with lemon, and I had no excruciating headaches. I had no crazy, you know, withdrawal symptoms. I might have it today. Maybe I'll have it tomorrow. But here's the thing. When you get in the right mindset and you make a decision, they talked about this, like when you really make a decision and you're committed. I got up yesterday and I'm like, you know what I'm doing? I'm going to, why wait a week? Why, why have coffee for another week? Why not just do it? Because people think I can't. And, and when people think I can't, that's when I'm going to say, really? Why don't you watch this? Why don't you pay attention? This is too mellow for right now. Hold on. One second. This is some, this is some new yoga music guy. Oh, they played the best music this weekend. So I've made sure to download a ton of it. Um, this was one of them. And I, I just still, I'll always remember, it's so funny, because if you look up Tony Robbins and you see, they always show him clapping, I mean, that guy has hands, I think, as big as, like, my face, and he claps just with energy, he's like, oh, oh. and let me tell you another thing, too, when you spend as much time clapping, like, they put this music on like this, like, really loud, imagine a huge auditorium with great music, and, you know, you're, you're clapping, obviously, you can clap however you want, but every time we did clapping, I would always put my hands up clap like this so like I kept my hands up all the time and as long as you'd be clapping and then they'd say okay at the end of this song you know everybody's gonna jump up and down and sh shake the roof off and then so you'd be clapping like this for like a whole song you know that's your shoulders people why don't you just start doing that at the office be in your office and piss people off in the next cubicle just be like ah, ah, ah. and then you know you put your hands up let me tell you I was working those shoulders all weekend in just kind of a different way um, in fact, here's a little side note, it was funny, because I kept saying to Amy, like, gosh, I really miss, I haven't worked, this is going to be four days without working out, but her cousin was with us, he was wearing one of those Nike Fitbits, and apparently, I don't know what he said, but whatever his Fitbit normally says he does, he was actually burning more at, at when we were there um, with the activity that we were doing with all the jumping up and down and the clapping and the kind of going crazy and all of that shit. So, oh, I just swore, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up. So all that said, I have a blister and having this blister also reminded me of when I did the Avon breast cancer walk, just like 15 years ago, maybe 12 years ago. But when I did that, I was a lot heavier and I remember they kept saying, you know, wear Lycra. And that was well before I really had any real workout clothes. I was doing, I think, maybe Tybo at home. And I, I really didn't have any Lycra. And I was so insecure about my body that I was like, there's no way I'm going to wear tight clothes. 
So I wore, you know, whatever for a top, and then I had these sweat shorts. So they were like sweat material, cotton material. They were shorts, and then I wore you know, like tennis shoes and, and socks. And uh, because when I would walk, and I told you guys, I don't have skinny thighs. I never will. They're very muscular. But when I also have fat on top of my thighs, that's where I carry, you know, a good amount of fat. So when I was walking, my thighs were rubbing together, and then the um, fabric really started to rub on my thighs. So I had bad chafing, and because of the chafing that I started to get, I started to walk to compensate and kind of make my legs not um, touch. So I was walking funny, and you know, that's a 60 mile walk in three days. You do like 20 miles a day. Um, but because I was walking that way, then my already supinating sh uh, feet started to really supinate, and I really twisted out one of my ankles. So I just, I, I guess what I want to point out there is like, I think that's a good example, and also what I started to do unconsciously or consciously with this blister. You automatically, when, when you let something take over negatively, it really can take over your whole life. With, with walking, you know, because I wasn't smart, because I didn't listen, because I had the wrong clothes, I had to overcompensate in other areas. When you overcompensate in other areas, they become, you know, weak, and then you get injured. And so this one little thing, you know, my inability to wear the right clothes, because I was so worried I was gonna, you know, look fat, which is stupid, ended up injuring, you know, so many other areas of my body. And let me tell you, that last day, um, I had to sit out, I had to have someone carry me, and, and the blister and the pain, what well, was more my, I'm sorry, yeah, it was more my ankle that hurt. Had to get it wrapped and get iced and everything. And I, I chose to walk that last day and every single step I took on that left foot hurt. And my friend Bridget's like, Kelly, here's the thing. You are not gonna walk 20 miles with me going, ow, 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 ow. And I'm like, okay, so I shot up and I walked and it hurt, but I did it. And that again shows that you, what song is this? You can get through whatever. If you focus on the negative, if I sit here and focus on, oh my God, I have this blister, I can't do anything. That's what I'm doing, I'm going through my day going, what can't I do? And oh, let me, let me pay attention how much this hurts instead of saying, you know what? Put a Band-Aid on it, it's clean, and get through the day and see what you can do. When you focus on what you can do and you view all of your workouts as to how can I go more this time? How can I go harder? I'm starting to see in myself that sometimes I've been going through workouts, like the ballet body workout. I get to this one point where she's doing sissy squats, she's going back, you know, and up, and I'm like, oh, I'm only gonna do eight, I'm only gonna do eight, because she does two sets, 16. And in there today, I'm like, screw that, I need to change that mindset. I'm not gonna do, oh, I'm only gonna do eight if she's doing 16. I'm like, no, you know what, I'm gonna do 18. That's right, change your mindset, everything's gonna change. Don't focus on the negative, focus on what you can do, because guess what? It's not hoo-ha, people. It changes everything. I have this blister, and if I, if I listened to my old self, I'd be sitting in there just looking at my blister being a baby. Instead, I've had two days of ass-kicking, and guess what? I'm ready to do some more. Are you? That's all I have to say.